Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So today is Wednesday, so that means it's a way in update. So I hope you've had a great week, whatever plan you follow. My week has certainly been busy. It's been half term, I've been out and about. So what I will add is I'm ever so sorry that there wasn't any vlogs this weekend. Normally there's a food haul and then uh, what I get up to or what I eat over a weekend. I had all the intentions for a vlog to be uploaded on Saturday, um, like a food shop haul. I had my online supermarket coming on Friday and I it came and I laid it all out. I got my camera, I started off, you know, doing all my spiel, hi I'm Rachel and all that. Went vlogged half of my food. Well I say half, it was more than half um of my food. And then my camera went off and I was like, oh I've not charged it. So went to plug it in, thought I'll plug it in to charge it, um, put all the food which I've vlogged away um, and then just leave the little bit which I've got left to vlog out, which was two loaves of bread, shampoo, conditioner, some toilet roll um, and that was it. So my f after 20 minutes I took the camera off charge, put it on and I was like, oh, it's on full battery, that's a quick charge, nice one, this is a quick charge camera. Um, vlogged the remaining bit of of, my, of the haul. Then on Saturday, um, I vlogged my fruit and veg from the market. And then Saturday evening, when I went to upload everything, that's when I realised my little my little error. Actually, what I had done is not actually press record um, on my vlog uh, on my haul. I'd only press record when I was recording my toilet roll the the second half. The first half of it is I'd not pressed the record button so after a bit my camera just switches off where I thought my battery had died so yeah so basically if I'd uploaded that vlog it looked like I was only having toilet roll, shampoo, conditioner, two loaves of bread and then some really nice fruit and veg so I didn't think it was the greatest haul to upload but Anyway, now I've put um, a thing on this camera where there's a red box and it constantly flashes now. So I can make sure, instead of having the little record button, I've got like a, I can, even now when I'm recording this, there's a flashing screen. Um, so yeah, it won't happen again. Um, so that was meant to be uploaded for Saturday, but it didn't. So I thought, you know what, I'll explain all that on Sunday and do a what I eat in a day on Sunday. And then Sunday's plans didn't go accordingly. Max was meant to have a football match that got cancelled because of the weather. And we just had a chilled out day. Um, yeah, and it was just relaxing. And I'll be honest, I didn't want to pick up a camera and vlog. Um, everything was on plan. And yeah, it was, it was just a lovely weekend. So yeah, like I said, all food I've eaten this week has been lovely, uh, spaghetti bolognese, chilli con carne, I had um, an unplanned kebab, um, from like, I had a kebab um, mix, which is five and a half sins, uh, I had that, I didn't have the, the wholemeal pita bread, I had it on top of some chips, which are some more friendly chips, gherkins, the kebab, some light and light mayonnaise on top, lots of salad and it was delightful. Um, what else did I have? One thing I have had this week and it's just lovely that you can have, you can work things in to the plan. So I love nothing more than a toasted tea cake with some cheese on top. I absolutely love it. Now that is a lot more than 15 sins. But m and have brought out um, a cheesy um, hot cross bun and it's amazing. I think, I want to say nine and a half sins. I'm sure the nine and a half sins, nine or nine and a half sins they are for one. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna have that on Saturday, Saturday's breakfast with some healthy extra cheese on top, grill it, and it was amazing absolutely delicious and it was nine and a half sins and a health extra a and that really filled me up um i went to get my hair done so i've gone a slightly different color you can't really see it in the camera it's a lot lighter um, i've had my parting um done differently so it's off like it's not straight down the middle like i normally have it um and then i've had my eyebrows waxed and shaped and then it was lovely so it was a lovely saturday um, and I don't mind spending nine and a half sins on that hot cross bun. And then 
on the evening I had a chicken breast with some um, seasoning on it like paprika, cayenne pepper, it was really nice like um, all sim free spices on it with some long stent, what do they call it, tender stem broccoli with it and some um, little roast potatoes basically something wolf friendly chip but made on but I changed the shape into like a roast potato with it and um, I had a sin's worth of sauce because that day that day I had 12 and a half sins because I had something later on as well in the evening and I was more than satisfied of what I'd had it was really really nice I didn't have any lunch um because of how my hair fell um and I was that that had kept me fulfilled. I did take some oranges whilst I was at the hairdresser. So whilst my colour was on, I had an orange because the lovely hairdresser it has like a little bowl what comes while you wait. And it had lint chocolates, it had a Ferrero Rocher in there. It had these gorgeous like lotus biscuits with the cream inside. Oh, I resisted them. And I had a black coffee whilst I was there as well. And I took my sweeteners. Um, yeah, and... I just, I don't feel like I'm on any kind of plan. I just, I just love what I'm eating. I'm eating healthy, I'm eating mindfully and it's just becoming like a norm. I'm not having to think about it. I've got things in plan place now. So I, I plan my meals. I know what's happening in the week. Um, I just, I'm just really organized with my food, with everything. So there's no, I don't give my, ta I don't give, there's no room where I go, right, we're just going to go for foodies kind of thing. I, I don't, I don't have that. And because I don't make room for it, or I don't have those moments where I can't be bothered to cook. And um, when I do have those moments, I've, I've got a fallback plan, like I've, I've, there's, there'll be something in the freezer, which I can have, or I'll make a chocolate potato with cheesy beans. There's always like a fallback to fall on. Um, so I don't have to go to like foodies, which is just basically either eat nothing or get a slice of toast with some butter on it have that and then a few hours later I'm hungry again and going well I've only had a slice of toast so I'm, I'll have this this and this I don't do that anymore I'm planned I'm prepared I, I'm I, I love what I'm eating there's no like treat days or good and bad food anymore I'm just I'm in a really really good place and it's just nice to be able to have like like the hot cross bun kind of thing um, I'm enjoying having one of them the remainder of them have gone in the freezer so I can have one um like every Saturday is like a nice like um weekend breakfast so um I, I I like that like I'm allowing myself to have one of them now and not being so strict and just making sure it it works in the plan um I mean, don't get me wrong, nine and a half sins, people might be sat there thinking, nine and a half sins, I'll never spend nine and a half sins. Like, I wouldn't spend sins on wine. I, I, I just, I'm like, it's not for me. But each to their own, like, the sins are there for you to use. Whether you choose to use them or not, that is entirely up to you. For me, I don't mind spending those kind of sins. And what it does out of everything is, is when Easter day comes, and it's not that, that far away now, Easter. When Easter comes, it means that because I've not restricted myself for not having like hot cross buns or maybe a cream egg, I could have a cream egg if I wanted to, or all this yumminess what's around Easter, because I'm allowed it, allowing myself to have it in a controlled way throughout a week, it means then when Easter comes, I don't go, oh, sod it, I'm not, I'm, I can, I'm going to have an egg, I'm going to have a hot cross bun, I'm going to have this and that because it's Easter and then the next day I'll be on it. Because once you go into that mindset and you eat what you want, um, it's really hard to like get back on it because our body just wants that extra sugar or every, you know, it's really hard to get back into that um, routine of um, being back to eating like normal kind of thing. And I'm, I don't feel like I'm missing out. I don't feel the need to want kind of certain food or missing anything. Um, I'm just in a really good place um yeah I'm, I'm i'm i can't i can't say what's different but i just knew when when january came this time i, I mentioned it in the first vlog of 2024 that 
I had that same feeling I did when I originally started and I lost my five stone. Um, I had that feeling of like, I'm on it, but I wanted to be on it in a really good way this time. Last time I lost like the five stone and everything, I was really strict to myself. I didn't learn anything about food, my trigger points, and I was I, I wouldn't have been able to, I wouldn't have allowed myself to have a hot cross bun. I, I just wouldn't have because I wanted instant gratification. I wanted the weight off as soon as possible and I did everything in my, in, I just did. I did like, I am a two stone award in like, I think it was six weeks I got that. Everything happened so quickly um, and I reduced everything. So then when I got my target, I was like, now what do I do? I've not learned anything. And then I was like, oh, I'm targeting. I, I, wanted to, I wanted this time round to be completely different. I wanted to really enjoy the food I'm eating. I want to be able to have food which you know, would be higher in sins or, you know, I wanted to be able to adapt things and work things in and just be mindful because this is how I want to eat for the rest of my life. And I think the, the way I'm eating now and how I'm, is the way I can eat forever because I'm still allowing myself to have, you know, the odd treat here and there. But like I said, it's all controlled. I, I don't feel fear, feel fearful of going out. Um, you know, I don't have those binge moments. If I want something, I'll have something, but I make sure that it's all, you know, within a reasonable amount of, you know, if I go out with friends or family, um, I'll choose the best possible meal. Um, we went out on Friday, um, Grace tried on her bridesmaid's dress on Friday with the other bridesmaids and after that experience, uh, me and my mother-in-law, um, we went and had a, a meal with Grace and I went to the the restaurant and I the restaurant we went to, they do amazing buffalo um, cauliflower wings and oh, they're just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I had that which is a starter but I had it as a main and I had it with a Coke um, Zero. Now, some people might look at that and go, what? That's what I love. I love that. And because I've not had it for ages, I enjoyed it. We were talking about things and it was just a lovely experience. Michelle had a jacket potato cheese because obviously she follows Slimming World and she had it with a salad. Um, I could have chosen that, but I didn't fancy that. I fancied this, what I had, like buffalo cauliflower wings. Oh, they're just amazing. And instead of having it as a starter, I had it as a main, so it's slightly a little bit bigger. Um, Calorie-wise, because obviously they write the calories if you're interested, I think it worked out at 302 calories for the cauliflower wings, which, you know, that's the only thing I had um, for my lunch. And then um, for my breakfast, I'd had a black coffee and some fruit. So yeah, it was just lovely to have those things and um, be mindful, you know, I, we didn't have a pudding, they have like cake away kind of thing where we went and I didn't have any of that. Not because I can't have it, I, I just didn't want it kind of thing. And then I came home and I think we had chilli con carne that night. So yeah, it's, I can't say anymore. I, I'm, I'm in a good place, I, I'm being mindful, I'm enjoying everything I'm eating and I don't have those treat days like I don't go, oh, I'm off the scales, right, what we're having today, I can eat what I want kind of thing because all you're doing then is catch up and why should I reward myself with food? Because the whole aim of this is to be able to sustain a healthy life and that's what I want. I don't want to lose weight because of this wedding and then and then I'm just playing catch up. I want to be able to eat healthy, maintain a happy, healthy lifestyle um, for a long time. I don't want this to be a quick fix where I'm always restarting something or and stopping something. I want this to be a continuous thing. So that's why I'm I'm going this way about it. Let's just slow and steady as my my main aim is just to have a loss every single week um and not again. I just want to lose gradually and that's my this is my main thing is to get those continuous losses. So I've spoken a lot. Um so 
here we go. So I stepped on the scales today and I lost half a pound. So I was well happy. So I'm 13 stone and I've lost 13 pounds. Um, so yeah, so I'm on track for my goal at the end of February. End of February's goal is to be in the next stone bracket. So as long as I can um, get my goal for February, I'll be well happy. Um, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't mind a pound so I'd get my stone award at the end of February, which would be amazing. But I am further on than I need to be in my little goal that I've set myself. So yeah, I'm buzzing. I'm really, really happy um, that I'm, I'm where I am. And like I said, it's just slow and steady um, off and I'm, I'm, I am ha more than happy with that. I'm in a really good mindset which I'm loving. I've tried on the dress again, I tried it on Monday and it's getting more and more comfortable whilst I'm in it. Um, it's one of those dresses where I know I need to lose a little bit because I can feel I've got the dress on. It's like having a pair of jeans on and having them on for like two hours and you feel, I can't wait to get this off. Or an uncomfortable bra, it does the job, but you just can't wait to get it off. And that's how I feel in this dress. I love the dress, the dress looks lovely. Um, but after a bit, I just think I can't wait to get this off because it doesn't fit amazingly. And I just know that a bit more weight and I feel amazing. I, just, I try it on weekly um, because I just want to have that weekly thing and that's what I'm doing. So yeah, I've got to go as you can hear I'm, I'm needed. So I hope you've had a wonderful week, whatever plan you follow. And um, as always, sending huge positive thoughts. See you soon. Bye.